Hey everyone, welcome to another horror, horror story from Light Dar. Today we have an interesting story from BadSpaceComics.com by Scott Bass. Please check out his site. The story's name is River's End. It's a grueling story. When the Empire of Man crumbled, the Euphrates endured. We had built her well. She drifted, her engines shattered, but her body more biological than machine, persisted, and we, her crew, drifted with her. She was a world to us, and we wanted for little. We lived and died and bred, consigned to our imprisonment. But where the biological system of this ship ticked on, her machinery, her electronics, languished. The interface that connected us to her Manufacturing, circuitry, lighting, eventually gave out, plunging us into darkness. We retreated to those parts of the vessel that could still support us. Knowledge increasingly passed down by paper and candle than by mouth. Feeding stations failed, pressure, famine, and collapse. But 10,000 years later, the ship persisted, and so did we. Our hearing is more acute, our bodies smaller, our lives more ritualized. We slice meat from the walls of the ship herself, take water from her veins, wild mushrooms from forgotten gardens. We pray to her, too, but she does not answer. The days merge, seamless, into boundless shores of post-history. 10,000 years, a million, until through her shrunken tunnels, pitch black arteries of our home, we slither. Much of our body now a hostile organism, filled with acid and vacuum, but we adapt and we travel. From the nursery pool of our birth towards the meat chambers of her heart, where we feed, where we gorge on her blood and oxygen, Hanging like bats, like grubs, mind soft and bland as a freshly peeled egg. A tapeworm dreaming it is a man. This concludes another horror, horror story with the light of Dar. On the way out, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, ding that bell, and feed the YouTube algorithm. To all my people in the world, have a beautiful evening. Much love and sweet dreams.